Meanwhile, all new tonight, there are many families waiting for updates from loved ones in Ukraine, but they are not giving up hope and said putting their energy into finding ways to help from Metro Atlanta. Two families shared their pain with 11 Alive's Hope Ford. For a week, Americans received updates on a war from their TVs and social media. Tomas Dudnik and Mark Frederick and their families got updates firsthand. Two babies, newborn babies in the bomb shelter. Tomas and Mark's family's longtime friends now get long distance news from Ukraine. I'll show you this video too. Children huddled in bomb shelters. That's just their lives now, you know. Tomas's own brother and sisters living that life right now. And knowing that your two sisters, nine years old and 11 years old, they're under attack, being bombed, and just in the shelters, you know, right now. And it's just tough. It, it is tough. I don't even know how to process uh, potentially not seeing hundreds of close friends and relatives ever again. I don't know how to process that. They're constantly checking their messages, reading the pleas from people they love. When someone is not responding, the only thing you have in your mind, they're dead. This isn't the first time they've dealt with war in their native country. Mark, just a teacher when Ukraine was under attack in 2014. It didn't seem as real, uh, but last week it's it's been like, it's like my life is completely different. Like my whole world has kind of been flipped upside down. But not wanting to sit by and do nothing. Their families and church raising money to help people evacuate and get supplies. We send the money right away. He said we bought blankets, we, uh, we got money for gas and we got food over there right now. They've raised hundreds just to help these children you see in this video. So long as Ukrainians huddle to escape bombs, Tomas, Mark, and their families will huddle to find a way, any way, to help. It's like real people being affected by it. And uh, it really hurts, it hurts. I don't really have the words, but it hurts. Mm -hmm. Incoming, Hope Ford, 11 Alive News. Their families started Together Ministries and are currently raising money to send supplies and help with evacuations in Ukraine.